Hey guys, TG Lover here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a card from Galactic Overlord. Um, it's the set that's coming up next. Um, I gotta say, overall, seeing the cards that have come out in the core set, they're really not that great. Um, it's definitely not as hard hitting as Order of Chaos. You know, there wasn't like support for archetypes that were really that really needed that support like wind ups and Insectors are really good and they've really proven themselves in the last like week or so to be really powerful. Um after watching a few tournament reports I've seen that Insectors can easily go like five one unless you're going against Dino Rabbits and you go second, which everyone loses to that anyway. So you know, they really are quite impressive deck. And wind ups really needed that wind up rat and sharks and Z Mighty so it's really good. But this set Unless we see some really good uh, wind-up stuff, I'm not sure that this deck, this set, has any real potential much. Um, anyway, I was going to review one card that was when it first came around. Um, it definitely uh, had some potential, but then Konami basically nerfed it out of into oblivion, and you can't use it now. So the card I'm going to review today quickly is Card Card D. No, card card D. So it's a car, a very thin car that's shaped like a card. And um Yeah. Uh what it does is it can't be special summoned. So during your main phase one when this card is normal summoned, you can tribute this card, draw two cards and skip to the end phase. And you cannot special summon the turn you activate this effect. So you don't have to use it right at the beginning of your main phase one, otherwise it would be a terrible, terrible piece of crap. But you can basically it shuts off your special summons. It shuts off shuts off any chance of you summoning anything except for if you use something like double summon. But that's stupid. So this card says you cannot special summon the turn effect effect. So this card basically you draw you tribute it, draw two, the end phase happens and then you're stuck with nothing on your field except for some phase downs and that's it so it skips straight to your opponent's turn. The only place where I can see this card having some potential is in Final Countdown where um, the deck relies on passing turns quickly while you have Final Countdown's effect active. So this card allows you to draw two cards basically drawing into more stall and um, drawing into more stall and passing turns quickly. So apart from that, I don't really see what possible reason you'd want to use this. I mean, in the anime, you could just summon it, tribute it, draw two. You don't end your turn, so you can still set the cards that you use. And that's cool. That's okay, that makes it somewhat balanced. I mean, obviously it's still a bad card, but like, drawing two is so easily done by so many different, like, cards now, you know. I mean, why? what incentive is there to play this card over Polyduality, Pod of Avarice, cards that search, cards that gain like plus five when you use them, like Insect of Dragonfly or something, you know. Like, I don't, I don't see what point is to this card existing really anymore. Um, it, I don't understand. I mean, you could just—it basically says, don't even bother with this card. That's what the card text says to me. It says, do not bother. There's no way you can abuse this. We've made it so there's no way you can use this card in you know to be taken seriously it, it doesn't it could have 8000 attack 8000 attack and i would still would not use it you know it's just what is the point you know this is the sort of cards that just make the whole set look bad you know unless we have some really good exclusives this is going to be like extreme victory where there was like one or two decent cards and that's it one or two decent cards, like Tengu, Tour Guide, um, Chiji, Won the Magician, uh, that's pretty much it. So, you know, what what else was there in that set? So, this is the sort of thing, there's going to be a few cards that were playable, and that's it. So, yeah, that's my quick review. Um, I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed it. I hope you guys agree with me that this card is absolutely terrible. Um, if you pull it, rip it up. Unless it's a secret, then sell it off to some idiot thinking that it's oh, I draw two. Huh? So, yeah. 
I was going to say something, I forgot. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. Oh yeah, that's it. Um, in the next uh, day or two I'm going to upload a very long door. I hope you enjoyed my other door, which I was filming, watching my filming my friends play. Um, it was uh, Scraps Against Gravity Beast. Check my channel out if um, you want to see that or you haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm going to upload Light Swans Against Piper, which I put a Piper match up before. It's the same deck except a few changes. Um, it goes on for a long time, so you might want to watch it. It's quite funny, so it's worth a look. It's gonna it goes on for like twenty minutes, but it's funny. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, THD Lover out.